hello guys welcome to yet another video tutorial on WPF C sharp application so till now we have made this application where we can log in with username and password and it opens our second form and here we can save update or delete data and in the last two video we have seen how to load or how to link your database with your uh, list box and your combo box in this video I will show you how to show values in the text box when you select some value in the combo box so for example I select this name mark because the combo box is loaded with my column mark values my column name values sorry and when I select mark the corresponding value which are related to mark his employee ID name surname and age should appear here so that I will show you today how to show the corresponding value in the text box when some value is selected in the combo box so let's get started I have this code right now and in the last to last video I have shown you how to link your combo box with the database and I have shown you how to load name column values in your combo box so if you haven't seen that video just see that to know the code and just select this combo box and double click it and we reach to the combo box one selection changed event and I'm copying the whole code from the last to last video where I have shown you how to link your combo box with the database value so this is my fill combo method which I have written in the last to last video I will copy all the code from SQLite connection to the end of try catch block and I will once again go to my window and double click it and in this combo box selection change event I will paste all the code so what I was doing basically is creating the connection from the database and in this try catch block I have written this try catch block to catch any exceptions and then I'm opening the SQLite connection in SQLite con dot open and then I was passing the query select star from employee ID and then I create the SQLite command where I pass the query and the connection and then I execute query so I write this SQLite data reader dr is equal to command dot ex execute reader and while this data reader continues reading I am showing the values so if you want you can just copy this code I will just focus on the code and we will edit some of the part of this code in order to show the values in the text box so basically we are going to change the query so just go here so string query is equal to select star from your table name so we have this table employee info where I have column EID name surname and age so I go here to the code and I write select star from my table name where name is equal to my combo box name so my combo box name is select your combo box and go to the properties here and copy the name of your combo box in my case combo box one go to the code once again and in here write single quote in between double quote in between plus plus and paste your combo box name there and write dot text okay so our query is select star from employee ID where your name because we loaded names in 
the combo box in last to last video when we linked our combo box with the database we are showing the names that's why i have written name is equal to combo bo whatever we select in the combo box so combo box dot text and all the code will remain this the same here after that and we are going to change inside this while loop dr dr which is data reader dot read and i was adding the items to the combo box in the last video and i delete this code here and i will copy this string name is equal to dr dot get string and paste it four times because i have four text boxes to show the values and i will change the name first is eid string s e i d and i will name uh, rename them s name s surname and s h i am adding s before my variable names because it shows string so i just prefer to add s now these are the column the, these string variable will take each column value so f this is for the column employee id so i have this first column which is employee id right second is name third is surname and fourth is age so index start from 0 1 2 3 so i will change it here first column is 0 second is 1 third is 2 and fourth column is 3 3 and now because my employee id is of data type int i will show you here when i created this data table i assigned this employee id as integer type name as varchar which is a type of string surname as varchar which is also a string and age is my integer so what i will do is instead of this get string i will write dr dot get int 32 and in this will show error because this is int and we need to convert it into the string so write dot to string bracket and bracket closed same thing we will do for age also because it's also a int type so write dot int 32 and dot to string bracket and bracket closed so what this will do is this code will see whatever value selected in the combo box and it reads all the values corresponding to it and it loads corresponding values to this string so it reads the employee id and loads it loads it in this um string e id name surname or age right and then what we can do is we will copy the names of our text boxes one by one so first column name is here e id text go to the code and just paste below your string variable declarations second column name is not column name is but text box name text box name is for name text box is name text and paste it just below it i will use it so i'm just copying all the text box names the text box name for surname is 
also named txt and the, the, the text box name for age is age txt right so age txt I will just arrange them in right manner and what I will do is I will this is my employee ID text box name dot text is equal to my EID string variable okay in the same way name dot text is equal to string variable name s name so name text box name is equal to text is equal to my string variable s surname and last is my age so dot text is equal to my string variable s age so what i have done is I have taken the values from the database corresponding to this combo box selected value and now I am setting the values in your text box right so if you want you can just copy this code and now I will run the code run this code username and password correct and I have these name loaded in my combo box which I have shown you in the last to last video so when I select this the corresponding values which is there in the database should appear in these text boxes let's see if it happens or not yes it's happening two three four okay so I have this John as one and let's see in the database if it's showing the right values or not. So I have <coughs> first employee as Mark and his surname is Henry and his age is 33. But when I select this it's selecting random values which is not right right when I select John it's selecting mark values and when I select this Peter it's selecting the John values so let's see what have I done wrong stop the program so what I have done wrong is I think I have selected wrong event for my action so right now my event is when you select this combo box and when you see the event here my current event is selection changed so instead of using this selection change in events we must select this go above and search for this drop down closed event just select this drop down close event double click it and we reach to the function called combo box one drop down close event so copy all the code from combo box selection change event just copy and cut all the code from there so just make it empty this function 
combo box one selection change event just copy all the code cut all the code and paste it here in this uh, combo box one drop down close event pasted all the code in this function so what I have done is I have cut all the code from selection change event and pasted all the code in the drop down closed event the same code we have written earlier and now when you run the program and when you give username and password and when you select the corresponding name the corresponding value will come so name and this name is same here and in the database also if you check corresponding value for mark is employee id is 1 which is here surname is henry which is here age is 32 33 which is here let's select john employee id 2 which is here surname is same and age is 42 same so now it's giving me the corresponding values correctly okay so just change the code like that so i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now